Flavie Vincent Petit is preparing for her day's work with care. A master glassmaker, she's one of the artisans tasked with restoring the stained glass windows damaged in the Notre Dame fire and cleaning the soot off them. It's a painstaking operation, but she's working at full speed so that the cathedral can reopen as soon as possible. It's also why they work in two shifts here, from six in the morning to 10 at night. Our work to help repair this trauma is something really special. We usually have more time for our work on projects that are planned for the long term, but this is an emergency of sorts. Notre Dame has a very special symbolic quality, which we need to restore. As if by a miracle, most of the cathedral's stained glass withstood the heat and flames of the fire on the 15th of April 2019. But the iconic spire collapsed. The roof and parts of the vaulted ceiling were destroyed. The entire cathedral came close to collapse. After the fire, the French government announced an ambitious reconstruction plan. Notre Dame was to be repaired and reopened within five years, looking even more splendid than before. Only the best should work on such an important construction site. In our hiring process, we selected the most highly skilled craftspeople in every trade. More than 100 companies and over 1,000 craftspeople are involved in the reconstruction. Not all of them are on site. Artisans from across France were commissioned to repair the cathedral's windows, including Flavie Vincent Petit, who works in Troyes, south of Paris. She's mainly working on stained glass windows from the 19th century, although some also date from the Middle Ages. Without its windows, the cathedral cannot reopen. Without these windows, the sacred atmosphere is lost and becomes rather profane. The windows are filters that transform natural light into divine light. The cathedral spire will also be rebuilt, exactly as it was before. At 100 meters tall, the wooden spire will rise into the Parisian sky once again. We haven't done anything like this for a long time. We'll employ techniques used by the 19th century architect Violet Le Duc. Reconstruction is taking a little longer than originally planned. Notre Dame is now scheduled to reopen at the end of next year. Even though they can't go inside, visitors are thrilled to see the construction work. A building like this is something you just have to see. It's magnificent. I'm happy to see they're rebuilding the cathedral. We'll have to see if the building will look like the original, or even better. It's amazing work. I'll come to see the cathedral once it's completed, that's for sure. Money isn't an issue for the cathedral's parish. Donations from around the world will cover the cost of the repair work. For many of the craftspeople, though, this is more than a job. It's a labor of love. We're part of a long line of glassmakers who began in the Middle Ages. Each of us works to preserve the building for the next generation. Once the soot and the dust of centuries have been removed, the stained glass windows will shine like new. And Notre Dame might even be a little more beautiful than it was before. <laughs>